friends well try as I might sometimes things don't always go as planned on the second part of uh, my life story in post-production I tried to manipulate the audio in the video recording so you can still hear and recognize my speech while trying to block out as much outside noise as possible including the mall's background music but let me tell you, YouTube still uh, still got me with a copyright issue. <laughs> so let me retell this part of my life story. After graduating from high school, while I was still living in Austin, Texas, I moved to Chickasha, Oklahoma to rejoin the rest of my family. It was there I tried to find employment and even attended the local school two nights a week. <laughs> My father made a suggestion on giving the military a try. Well, I was reluctant at first, but after some thought, I talked to a recruiter, took a test, had a physical, and enlisted in the United States Air Force. On March 31st, 1988, I was on my way to San Antonio, Texas to start basic training at Lackland Air Force Base. It was there that I struggled. In fact, so much so that I was recycled to do an extra week. Eventually I graduated and the next phase was tech school at Shepard Air Force Base in Wichita Falls, Texas, where I was schooled as a corrosion control specialist. Did okay in tech school. Now, it was during this time that my dad resigned as pastor from uh, the church he was pastoring. And the rest of, he and the rest of my family moved from Chickasha, Oklahoma to Waxahachie, Texas, where they were hired to be house parents for the local children's home there. After finishing tech school, and of course, by the skin of my teeth, no doubt, <laughs> I, uh, I did return by way of Greyhound bus to Waxahachie, but uh, my dad picked me up at the bus terminal in downtown Dallas. I eventually had about two weeks of downtime to uh, prepare for things, visit my family, even uh, celebrated a birthday for a girlfriend I used to have at that time. Soon it was time to report to my assigned base of Fairchild Air Force Base in Spokane, Washington. Now this is where the real struggles began. In fact so, a certain Master Sergeant did take notice and uh, suggested an evaluation and a recommendation was made and I was given an honorable discharge on October 21st 1988 and then on the following morning I flew back from Spokane Washington to Dallas to rejoin the rest of my family and to reevaluate my future I found employment as a janitor at the local First Baptist Church and uh, during my two years there in fact the first months my brother and I tried to share a place of our own um, 
Well, let's just say it didn't go well, because back then he had, let's just say, issues in his youth. And it affected my relationships with him, with my parents, and of course, my boss. Now in the fall of 1990, I decided to enroll and attend electronic school at night while still working during the day as janitor there. And it was just shortly before that time, my family had a, a fourth child. Her name was Caroline. Now just a couple days shy in 1991, we, uh, we all had to move, which means I had to resign as a church janitor because we had to move way up north to Irving. Me and my parents, my then teenage sister Melissa, and of course, infant sister Caroline. While I was uh, still attending electronic school, I found uh, employment in the late March of 1991 in the housekeeping department of the Dallas Market Center in their then uh, Apparel Mart building. After graduating, it took a while, but I did find employment at uh, Texas Instruments through a professional temporary agency, of course, working in uh, their wafer fab area. And in that time, I was making good money and could be able to afford my own place. Yet uh, the apartment complex I chose was about a quarter mile from my parents' house. <laughs> what had happened during that time, of course, uh, my other sister Melissa graduated from high school. I got my first credit card, which enabled me to purchase uh, a few things, like my very first CD player, a new stereo, a Super NES, and of course, my very first VCR, a stereo one. Of course, also, my sister Melissa got married. Now, of course, all good things must come to an end. So it was in uh, mid-June of 1994, just 13 months at Texas Instruments, that uh, a decision was made. My uh, temporary assignment was uh, ended, and I was let go. I tried to look for work in a similar field, but I found myself moving back with my parents and looking for work as a custodian for the Carrollton Farmers Branch School District. Then in late April of 1995, I finally found my career with the company called ST Microelectronics. And I was making good money again, although I had a, a large amount of credit card debt, but I managed. And in time, I was able to find my own place again. I mean, but then that lasted for about a year. Went on uh, three cruise vacations and even found myself another apartment, which uh, I stayed at for a good long while. But then after 12 years of service, my time at ST had come to an end when they decided to shut down their Carrollton fab. So I moved back with my parents and found employment in a different area again. It was with linens and things as a maintenance associate. I mean, uh, work was tough, but I managed. But it only lasted six months because soon they started filing for bankruptcy and started closing down stores. And it was finally there that I found Walmart. And been there a good long while. <laughs> In fact, so much so, at that time I went back to college. And I, the college I attended was Brookhaven College in Farmers Branch, where I got an associate's degree in visual communications. Well, 
Well, now I am uh, unemployed. I do wish to work again. I've always mentioned in my blogs that my photography skills are for hire. But let me make this disclaimer to you. I can do more than just photography. They, they say the page. I am also good at graphic design and videography as well as some video editing. As you can tell by uh, my blogs on my YouTube channel. So here is my email address. I also have listed in the descriptions the cities in which I'm willing to work in. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, more stuff to come.